Thanks, thanks. How's everybody doing so far? It's a little late. A little late? I know. <laughs> I was in the bathroom earlier, and I saw something scribbled into the little side of the urinal there. It said, uh, Fuck Bama. And I was like, uh, well, these people either hate Obama and they forgot the O, or they just really hate jelly. <laughs> Fuck it, doesn't spread on my toast right. <laughs> Does anybody ever wonder why people say the things they do when they say it? But you realize they should have worded it just a little different, just for your understanding pleasure. Like I was at the bar the other night, and uh, I stepped outside to smoke a cigarette. I was a little shitty. It was a little shitty, but I wasn't drunk. Usually when I go to the bar, I'm a little hammered. But I was a little drunk. I step outside to smoke a cigarette. I light it up, but <laughs> I realize I'm lighting the wrong end. So I'm lighting the filter. So any of you smokers out there, I know you've done it before. What do you do? You tear it off, and you start smoking the cigarette. So, I start smoking the cigarette, and some guy comes out of nowhere, and he goes, What the fuck do you think you're doing? And I said, uh, well, I was, I was about to smoke that cigarette. And he said, uh, no, 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 What the fuck do you think you're doing? Well, I just told you I was about to smoke that cigarette. It's... Are you fucking out of your mind? Don't you know that that's bad for you? Uh, is that a two-part question? Because what I thought what I was doing before was uh, fucking up my lungs. But you're just telling me it's going to fuck it up even more. Oh. Wow. I'm going to make a little shift here. Uh... Stupid shit, people say. <laughs> no. I was watching the news the other day. Is, are there any uh, avid news watchers in here? Does anybody watch the news? Um, we, got a, we got a couple people. One over there, maybe over in the middle. Yeah, my, my parents watch the news a lot. They don't get out of the house. I still live with my folks. How many people still live with their folks? I didn't think I would actually get a scream on that. <laughs> no, I still love my folks. But I was catch I caught the news the other day. I was watching Channel 2, came home for lunch from work. My mom was watching the news and there was something about uh, there was something about oh this lady was interviewing the Harlem Globetrotter. The, ha the Globetrotters are coming to town, or they already been to town, or is anybody watching the Globetrotters? No? Okay. <laughs> She was interviewing the Harlem Globetrotter, and she says, So, you're on a world tour. And I just stopped and thought, uh, Huh. You're on a world tour. You're a fucking Harlem Globetrotter. Okay. You're trotting around the globe. It's almost like one of the Globetrotters just said, uh, Hey, Reggie. Fuck it. You want to go to China? Let's go home. Shit. Done with this. Done with this shit. No, but, uh... <laughs> I, uh... Anybody in here employed? <laughs> After the recession? Really? No. I work for, uh... I work for Sherwin-Williams. Paint store. Familiar with paint? No? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's a, it's a fun job, I get a lot of weird questions, it's really weird, I, uh, <laughs> I had a lady call me one time and ask me if it was alright for her to paint in the rain, and I said, uh, usually we try to play the customer service part of the whole business, so I was trying not to sound stupid, so I tried to answer the question with as much thought as I could put into it, so I said, uh, how much plastic do you have? There wasn't a lot of laughs on that joke. I thought that was pretty good. No? 
All right. Well, you you guys can all uh, go fuck yourself. How about that? <laughs> and uh, the light was showing, so I'm out. Thanks, Derek Bryan.